What's going on guys? This is Mike the Detroit Borg with a look at the Nest Learning Thermostat. This is often dubbed the thermostat for the iPod lifestyle and it's basically a major revolution in terms of how home automation is being designed. Uh, this is actually a company established by Tony Fidel who was the president of design for the iPod and iPhone from 2001 to 2009. So the inventor of the iPod now brings us a new thermostat which is designed to save us energy uh, partly because, although this is not a new concept, uh, programmable thermostats, but it is the first one to be user-friendly. It's also a wireless device, so you can connect this to your home network, which allows you to control it uh, from a web browser on your computer or from an app on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Now, taking a look around the packaging, of course, we have the Nest thermostat on the front, which is actually a knob-style thermostat with this LCD screen on the front, so it's kind of a mixture of retro and new. It's a very attractive design, uh, so it's meant to be be very user friendly just like an iPod uh, click wheel you basically turn this and click it and that's how you program and interact with the device so on the bottom we have our specs and what's included and we'll take a look at that once we open it on the side we have the mission statement on the back we have some more product information including on how to use this uh, so you can program this in two ways you can either set it uh, with an app or you can set it on the device or you can set it on the web or this will learn your behavior so basically when you go to adjust it uh, throughout the day for over a period of time it will automatically learn your behavior and set it automatically so if you go to bed at night at 10 o'clock every night and you turn the thermostat down and you do that for a whole week it will know to do that uh, every day for the rest of the week or if you only do it on a Monday and uh, you continue to do that for week after week it will again automatically learn that behavior and of course you can adjust it if you want to so let's take a look to see what we get in the box now in keeping with the environmentally conscious profile of this product again it's designed to help you save energy the packaging is also recyclable and made out of recycled materials so inside is our thermostat and you can see the cardboard which again is very recyclable or will break down and here is the thermostat itself which has this little plastic cup over it Pop that off. Now taking a look around the nest, you can see we have this lens-like design with this ring that rotates and if you push down on it, it does click so that's how you make selections in the user interface. Along the side you have this ring which is designed to reflect the wall to pick up the color of the wall so it looks like this is sort of floating uh, just on the wall so there's a nice design touch to it. On the front we do have these grates that which allow the uh, ambient uh, or atmospheric sensors to work of course in order to judge the temperature and humidity of the environment and we do have ambient light sensors. Inside is also an, uh, a rechargeable lithium ion battery so this will constantly recharge while it's connected to the power source on your thermostat. Uh, back here you have a USB connector again for programming the device which you shouldn't have to do and of course we have the connector which connects to the wall plate so we'll take a look at that so in the bottom we have our literature wrapped in plastic which came off already so again this is uh, instructions on how to use it and these are installation instructions now uh, Nest also has an instructional video which is very helpful to show you how to install this. It's actually pretty easy. Now here we have the wall plate which is where your HVAC system will wire into the thermostat. So your wires plug into all of these corresponding ports and the thermostat will then connect to this port. We even have a little level here to help you to line this up on the wall correctly. Also included are screws and wall anchors. So if you're connecting this to drywall, this will help you to fasten it securely to drywall. We also get a Nest branded screwdriver, which includes all of the bits you need for installing the Nest in the handle of the screwdriver. Now below that is our optional mounting kit. These are basically wall uh, brackets that allow you to uh, install this on a variety of walls that may be non-standard. Or if you have holes left over from the existing thermostat, these will cover them up. So here we have the longer bracket, which covers up larger, more rectangular style uh, uh, thermostats that may exist on your current wall. And here is a different style uh, cover. This is actually meant for thermostats that have electrical boxes. So here you have the uh, cover and the uh, steel adapter that goes underneath. So this actually mounts on electrical boxes. Now these are not very common in most homes. These are mostly for commercial installations. Now I'm not going to go over the hardware installation in this video, but you can see the Nest tutorial in the link in the description below. It's pretty straightforward and simple. Once you've installed the base, the Nest simply snaps into place. Now the great thing about the Nest is that the internal battery is charged over the low voltage HVAC wires. So you may need to give your Nest some time to charge before setting it up. But you can also connect a mini USB cable to charge it up more quickly before installation. 
Once sufficiently charged, the Nest will walk you through the setup process by asking a series of questions. First thing you want to do is connect to your wireless home network. Here you will be able to enter your password using the dial interface. Once the software is updated, you can move on to configuring other settings. First, it will confirm your HVAC configuration based on your wiring. So this is a good time to troubleshoot any loose connections. Next, you will need to identify your location by your zip code. And then you can choose a name for your thermostat or enter your own. Now you just need to tell Nest what type of heating system you have and then what minimum and maximum temperature you want the thermostat to hold when you are in away mode. More on that later. Now with the thermostat installed and set up, we can go ahead and start using it. So right here we have our main home screen. This is what you will normally see when you look at your thermostat. So the center is the temperature that the furnace is currently set to or your air conditioning. And the ambient room temperature is indicated in this uh, uh, ribbon around the thermostat. So if we want to adjust the temperature, all we have to do is turn this ring. You can actually hear it clicking as you turn it. Now if we adjust the heat above the ambient room temperature, you can see the screen turns red. And in fact, it gets brighter the warmer we turn it. And right now you can see it's actually indicating to me that it will take about an hour and 15 minutes in order to heat the room to 77 degrees. And it will adjust as you adjust it cooler. So let's go back to 66 degrees, my preferred temperature. Now you don't have to click it or anything, you can just leave it like that. It's basically like a traditional thermostat in that sense. But if you do click it, you get some more options. So here, if we go to uh, this red and blue dot, you can select whether you want to cool or heat. So if we select cool, we can turn on our air conditioning. So right now it's defaulted to 75 degrees, but if we dial the knob back below the ambient room temperature, again you can see the uh, the screen turned bluer and it gets brighter blue as the, cool, the cooler we set it. So of course it's really cold outside right now. We do not want the air conditioner running. So let's go ahead and turn that back to heat. There we go. Now let's click that ring and go back to some of our other settings here. And let's take a look at away. Now away is a quick way of setting the minimum and maximum temperature of your thermostat when you leave the house. Of course you don't want your a furnace running at, at, at full blast when nobody is home. So instead of having to fiddle with the temperature, all you have to do is click away and it will automatically set the minimum temperature to 62 degrees and your maximum temperature to 78 degrees or whatever you've predefined. In my case, I predefined that when I initially set up the device. Uh, so of course you can adjust that under settings. So this is a great way of uh, managing your thermostat when you either you go away to work or you're going away and on vacation. Next up, let's take a look at our schedule, which is where we can manually manage our schedule. So we get the entire weekly timeline and each dot on that timeline represents a temperature and time of day. So this will automatically, uh, looks like on Friday morning, will automatically adjust the thermostat to 65 degrees. So if we go back, you can see that at approximately 11.30 p.m. it adjusts to 62 degrees, warms up at 65 degrees at about 3.30. So if we want to make changes, all we have to do is move the um, scrubber to the uh, point of change, select it, and you have the option to change, remove it, or click done. So let's go to change. And so change now allows me to adjust the time at, at which point this temperature changes. And we're going to keep it at 3.30. And clicking again now allows us to select the temperature. So if you want it to be even warmer than that, I have to do is select and you're all set. And of course you can create a new one just by scrolling to any time of the day. So let's say a new one at about noon. Enter and uh, now we can change the temperature. Enter and you're all set. Of course we can remove that now. And you're all set. Now to get out of this, all you have to do is scrub all the way to the side, select it, and you're back to your home screen. Now if we go over to energy, we can actually see our energy consumption uh, for the previous week. So if we go to yesterday, we can see on average we used four and a half hours of furnace, or that's how long the furnace was running. If we go to the day before, we get a little more information here. We get uh, it ran for five and three quarters hours, and up to two and a quarter hour was due to adjustment. So every time we adjusted it, in order to bring it up to temperature, that's how much time it spent uh, warming the uh, house back up. Now, taking a look at our settings panel, here we have lots of options here. You can see you can scroll through quite a few of them, so let's go through some of them. Here we can change our fan speed, whether we want it automatic or on always. 
We're gonna leave it on automatic. We can lock the thermostat so changes aren't can't be made. We can change the learning behavior. So basically, if we don't want this to constantly uh, observe our behavior and then automatically adjust the thermostat to our behavior, we can turn that on and off. So right now I'm gonna leave it on or I can pause it. This is particularly good if you're going on vacation and you don't want it to learn your behavior while you're on vacation. The other option is auto away. Basically because this has an ambient light sensor, it can detect when somebody passes by it. So if you have your thermostat in a high traffic area, this is useful. But if your thermostat is not in a high traffic area, it won't detect movement. So basically what will happen is if it doesn't detect anybody at home because nobody's passing in front of it, it will automatically set the thermostat to away. And so we'll automatically dial back the temperature uh, to the minimum and maximum settings. We also have time to temperature ready. Uh, so for example, every time you adjust the temperature, uh, it will automatically tell you how long it estimates it will take to warm the house up to that temperature. And we also have that leaf ready, which basically tells us uh, if the temperature we're selecting is uh, environmentally conscious or uh, more energy efficient temperature. So for example, if we go back to our home screen and dial back, you can see we get our green leaf. So green leaf means this is more economical. Now taking a look at our brightness settings here, you can see you can toggle through quite a few of them. We have high, auto, low, or medium. Now you leave it at auto, basically what auto does is uses those ambient light sensors to detect the ambient light of the room and will adjust the screen brightness just like you would on, an, on a, a Mac or an iPhone or an iPad. Screen on when you approach, basically again the senses whether you're nearby and will automatically turn the screen on if it detects it. Click sound, uh, this does have a sort of a click sound when you scroll through it. I don't know if you can hear it on camera, but you can turn that on and off. You can change whether you want uh, Fahrenheit or Celsius. Uh, we can change our name. We have our network settings here. Uh, we can uh, adjust our account or add our account. So right now I'm logged into my Nest account. My zip code, date time, so we can adjust our date and time here. Uh, wiring, so we can see our wiring hookups here. So this lets us know what wires are hooked up. Technical info has lots of info here. Name, temperature, humidity, activity log, equipment, power, uh, voltage, networks, uh, IP, security, everything you can think of is in here, which is pretty nice. We also have our legal info. We can reset our device or we can go back to the home screen. Now taking a quick look at the app which works on the iPhone, the iPod Touch, the iPad, as well as Android devices. Uh, this works pretty similarly on all devices, so we're just gonna stick to the iPhone to show you how it works. Now the great thing about this is uh, because the thermostat connects through wireless to Nest's website, basically this allows you to connect uh, to the thermostat with any connection in the world, so either 3G or wireless. Uh, so right now what we have here is the Nest thermostat. When we tap on it, we basically see exactly what's on the Nest, uh, Nest screen. So right now it's, the temperature is set to 66 degrees and of course we can adjust that by using these arrows. And you can even hear the clicking sounds just like you would if you turn the knob. You can also see the ambient temperature. Now if, for example, if we go to a temperature above the ambient temperature, you will automatically see this turn red when the when the heater is kicked in. Right now it's not kicked in yet, so there you go. So if we tap down back to 66 degrees, it will automatically adjust back. So this of course works with air conditioning as well. And in fact, if you want to turn on air conditioning, all you have to do is toggle this or you can turn it off. Now we have some other options here. So under settings, we can set whether we want the fan set to auto or on. We can change the name of the thermostat. We can change the temperature scale from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And we have some of our technical info here. Now we can also adjust our schedule here. So for example, if we go to Tuesday here, we have quite a few appointments here. So it goes up and down quite a few times. But uh, if we want to, let's say, adjust one of these, all I have to do is hold on it, and you can adjust the temperature up and down, or you can move it side to side to adjust the time. Now you can also adjust the temperature live with your app, and it's pretty instantaneous. So if we adjust down to 65 degrees, you can see the thermostat reads that pretty quickly. Now you can also adjust the Nest thermostat from a web browser, either on a Mac or a PC. So all I have to do is go to nest.com, go to your Nest account, or use your Nest account to log in. Of course, you've also logged that in on your device itself. And here you have a, an interface that looks very much like the app. So you have your Nest thermostat here, which you can click on and adjust the temperature up and down. You also have your settings. So if we click on our settings, you have some familiar settings there. And you can adjust the schedule simply by tapping on these items here. You can slide it back and forth to change the time or click up and down to change the temperature. 
So after about two weeks of use, I'm definitely impressed with the Nest, although it's a significant investment at 249. Uh, most of these high-end thermostats priced in about that same price or higher and offer far fewer features with a user interface that is exceptionally poor. Uh, certainly nothing like the Nest. And since the aim of the thermostat is to help you save money, having a device that automatically learns your behavior and can easily be adjusted from anywhere in the world means you're more likely to use it and therefore more likely to recover your investment. So that's going to do for me, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.